Do you want to see a little bit of real behind the scenes van life? The stuff that I usually don't show you because normally when I shoot a little bit of video, I clean up the van a little bit, just arrange things a little bit. Looks a little bit better on camera. You know, as I edit, I have to deal with looking at myself and the way I speak, and that drives me nuts. And then if I look around and I see the van in kind of disarray, I have to, you know, that drives me nuts because I have to look at that. Uh, so, so normally I clean up a little bit. Right now, I'm gonna show you what it normally looks like in my van uh, most of the time. Uh, although this is a little bit of a particular, uh, partic particularly bad scenario, but, but let me show you what it normally looks like. So as you notice here, I've got a rain jacket because, you know, this is Seattle. It's not always a blue sunny day out. I've got my backpack. I have got, under the bed here, I've got a pile of laundry that is spilling out into the little tiny bit of space that I have uh, as, uh, as legroom. That's because I haven't done laundry in over a week. Something I should do soon. Uh, there you see a pile of pillows. And that is because one of my pillows is actually lumpy and flat. Both. It's both lumpy and flat and so I bought a new pillow last night, which I don't like, but uh, I now have three pillows, which means I have this pile of pillows that is driving me crazy, even though it's only been a few hours. Don't have space for three pillows here in this van. Uh, there is my down coat, and that, yeah, that, that I don't really need much anymore, so that is just hanging up. Kind of like my rain jacket. Uh, just bought a loaf of bread and a, a big loaf of sourdough bread like this doesn't fit anywhere in any of my cabinets. So what I have to do is I have to leave it much like the bag of chips and the bag of spelt pretzels there. I have to leave those on the bed during the day. Then at night I move those over onto my little counter space here. And then in in the morning I move them back over to the bed. Now the bed, uh, it's still quite chilly at night so I've got lots of blankets uh, still. And as you can see, as you can see, um, I don't know if somebody knows I'm filming and that's why they're honking their horn or if they're just anywho. Anyway, um, as you can see, if I had all the uh, the blankets laid down and made, made my bed, which would be a lot nicer to look at, I then wouldn't have enough headroom to be able to sit straight up. So in the morning, I push the blankets back and have enough space so that I can sit up upright. Uh, I do have a sleeping bag which is over here. It's just being hung up for the moment because, again, it's a little bit warmer and I don't really need a 20 degree sleeping bag, even though I still need the blankets. All right, so let's, uh, let's keep it going. I really don't like showing all this stuff off. I really don't like showing off all this. Anyway, okay, so... Um, have a little bit of extra room in my, uh, along in my uh, clothes storage area because most of that is obviously spilling out from under the bed in my dirty laundry uh, duffel bag and now, now pile of dirty laundry as well. Uh, same with my washcloths, used up most of those, so the rest of those are hanging up to dry on the back or down underneath in the dirty laundry bag. And my little area here, my little sink area here, I normally try to keep this fairly clean. Uh, there's some, well, it's not totally clean, but anyway. Um, the sink needs to be cleaned. 
It is been quite a little while. How I normally clean this since it's stainless steel is I take a tiny bit of WD-40 and I spray it either just on the sink or a little bit onto a paper towel. I take the paper towel and wipe off the sink. Uh, there's kerosene, I believe, in WD-40 and so it, it kind of cleans everything off and gets rid of all these kind of nasty water spots and you know, toothpaste and soap and stuff. Uh, so, um, yeah. And then I've, obviously I've got all this other stuff and my, my stove needs to be cleaned. I use this every day, several times a day. So there you can see little bits of food and things that I just haven't cleaned up since this morning. <clears throat> so here is the side door that I normally uh, use to get in and out. Here's my fridge and under here, probably making you seasick. I think I'm seasick. Here is my dirty laundry duffel bag that is overstuffed. And normally I have just this little space I can shuffle back and forth on uh, in the morning as I'm getting ready. Uh, I start making coffee in the morning and then I shuffle over to the sink and start getting cleaned up uh, for the day. Now this this little area here has been driving me absolutely crazy. As you can see it's just a, a mess of stuff and this is a really poorly used uh, space just because those little bins that you're looking at this one and the one underneath it are store-bought uh, little bins. I bought them at Target uh, three years ago, right before I was going to move into the van. I had this little spot, didn't know what to do with it, and I, I was just done with building. I didn't want to build anything else. And I saw them at Target, and I took them, and I just screwed them into the side of the structure that holds up the, uh, the stainless steel tabletop here. And while they've worked for three years, they're not the best use of space. So I really need to get in there and actually build out something. Yeah, this is how this normally looks every day. And there's things that need to be fixed and there's things that need to be done and there's things that need to be cleaned. And I don't normally show you this, and this is going to drive me crazy looking at this to try to edit it and put it on a video, but this is it. This is my normal day. Welcome to van life, folks. You want to live in a van? Glamorous, glamorous van life? This is what you have to look forward to. Now I can't exactly just make a video saying that van life is ugly. I really need to balance this out a little bit. And so I just want to show you where I've been spending my weekend. I am in Gig Harbor. So if my van's a little bit messy and a little bit dirty and not really perfect, it doesn't really matter all that much. Because the fact of the matter is, I'm not in it very often. Most of my day is spent outside. Outside in places like this. <laughs> 